So what is XAMPP? XAMPP is a single installer that allows you to install the packages that most web developers need in order to deploy websites. So whenever you're going to deploy a website, you have to think about everything that's involved beyond the server and beyond the web server. You also need a database server many times. You also need a scripting engine many times. And so whenever you're going to build a web server, generally you have to install all of these different products. So if we're talking about LAMP, you have to install Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP and in the past people did that individually or if you're going to create a WAMP server then you would have Windows, Apache, MySQL and PHP and then you would install all of those things individually. With XAMPP what you do is you start with a base operating system. So you start with either Linux or Windows or Mac. There's packages for all of these different operating systems. And then you simply click or to, to install the package. And from there, it will install Apache for you. It will install MariaDB for you. It will install PHP for you. And it will also install Perl. So this is a way to very easily get a web server up and running by simply clicking and installing a single package. Now, if you do hear this, you will hear it's Apache, MariaDB, PHP, and Perl. So these may be different words words that you haven't heard before. MariaDB is an open source version of MySQL. So MySQL uh, was purchased by Oracle a number of years ago, and there are a lot of folks that are very scared. Having Oracle own MySQL scares a lot of people. So since MySQL uh, was open source, basically what they did is they took all the source code, uh, they renamed it to MariaDB, and so overall, Overall, MariaDB is a drop-in replacement for MySQL. So if you need a MySQL database for WordPress, for Drupal, for Joomla, or any of the other products out there that need MySQL, generally, by and large, <laughs> by and large, MariaDB should be fine for you. Uh, you also get Perl on top of PHP. So if you are doing Perl scripting, uh, this will also function off of a XAMPP server. So basically all a XAMPP server is, is think about if you're trying to create a development environment, you just, you don't want to have to go through a long, tedious configuration, downloading a bunch of different packages, making sure everything works. You just basically want to be able to double click on a single installer, you know, go through a few prompts and have an environment. That is what XAMPP is for. Now with XAMPP, you can run a full-fledged uh, production server. So you can run XAMPP, uh, and this is the full-fledged Apache, it's a full-fledged MariaDB, it's a full-fledged PHP and Perl. So you could run this as a production server, though I would advise that you don't. Uh, if you're going to be putting servers actually out connecting to the internet, I would recommend you install everything individually. Make sure you know what you did. Make sure you know all the configurations you plugged in. Uh, because by using something like XAMPP, it does make your life a lot easier, but it makes your life a lot easier by doing some shortcuts. So actually actually doing everything yourself for a full-fledged production server, I would argue is a better bet. But if you're just trying to learn PHP, if you're just trying to learn MySQL <clears throat> or Maria, MariaDB, if you're just trying to learn HTML and JavaScript, XAMPP is a great way to get a development up, environment up and running literally in a couple of minutes. Uh, and it's an invaluable tool for any new uh, web developer trying to learn technologies. So that's what XAMPP is, and that's why it matters.